Oh, yeah. Hi. Uh, welcome to my first video here. So, today I'm going to start a new drawing. It'll be something a little different than what I do um, normally. So, this is going to be done in chalk pastels. So, these are not like sidewalk chalk. They're more uh, blendable. They're finer. So, I'm going to show you what I use, and then I will also let you guys see the background. Because uh, I use what's called matte board, which is a little bit different. Most people do not draw on that. So I will show you all of that, and then we will get started. I am doing something a little um, different than I normally do, so uh, we will see how this turns out. But let's go take a look at everything and then get started. sheets like this. This is 24 by 36 inches. It's pretty much the biggest that you can purchase at the store. You can get a little bigger, but you have to order it online. So this is what I use for the background in all of the drawings. It's what I actually draw on. As you can tell in this one, um, this is drawn on a piece of black mat board, and then I cut the blue to go around it. This is normally what you see around normal photos that you would get get framed is the mat board around it. So it does come in a variety of colors as you can see. Uh, usually stick to black though because it makes everything pop out pretty well from the background. And I do use it because it's very smooth. It's not grainy at all um, and it works really well with blending chalks together. So let's go take a look at the chalks now. Okay, so these are some of the supplies that I use for my drawings. These are a bunch of different brands of chalks, and they're probably intermixed a little bit. Uh, these three right here, uh, I've been using those for about 10 years now. So they last quite a while, and they weren't very expensive. So expensive chalk doesn't necessarily mean better, because uh, these were like $10 a set, versus like some that are $3 for, piece, for one piece of chalk. So... Um, just be mindful of that, that you don't necessarily need the most expensive chalks. And these ones blend really well. They've lasted a long time. I wish I could find more of them. I just don't know. I don't know what they're called anymore since I've had them for so long. So you have your chalks and you have um, charcoal pencils. So I always keep a bunch of them sharp. That is what I draw the um, drawing onto the mat board with before I add the color. And then your best friend's going to be a kneaded eraser uh, because with the chalk you can erase it, which is really nice. And then also a couple of pencil sharpeners. So that's pretty much it for supplies. And then let's get started. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car looking for some kind of open bar. It's going to be all right, going to be all right. No money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright of my drawing on here so if you see all the white I've done I had to do it out um, here because that's where the, the foam is going to be so I need the, the white base and even in the lighter areas I'm going to have like yellows um, or lighter blues um, there needs to be the white because otherwise it won't pop out as well um, from the black background so 
I'm gonna start coloring and we'll see how this goes. I've never done a drawing like this because I usually do animals, so wish me luck. Whenever I'm with you, I am alright. There's something about the way you make me feel inside. I'm counting down the days till we fly away. Heading to the sun, only you and me are. Oh, don't wanna waste another day being stuck here in this place. No. this drawing and um, let me know what you think I think it came out pretty well so I mean, it looks like a wave to me and um, so I just need to get it signed which I'm gonna do here in a second and then I'm going to cut a mat for it and get it inside a frame oh so with the drawings though I've always been told you sign them in the bottom right hand corner so that's what I'm gonna do just make sure you do it you know at least an inch or two inches in uh, depending how big you're gonna cut your mat this one, I'm not gonna cut it very big. It's probably only gonna be a one inch, even though usually it probably should be two or three and then weighted at the bottom, but I don't wanna cover up the drawing. So it's only gonna be like a one inch mat. So we'll just get signed. All right, so now that it's signed, I'm just gonna go cut my mat and then I will get it in a frame and it will be finished.
right, so there we have it. This is now completed. I hope you enjoyed watching. This one took about eight hours to go from start to finish. Uh, I hope you guys come back for more. I should be making some new things soon, uh, so stay tuned.